Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this clip, I want to talk about a solution for download a 3D model with a DAE format from Google Drive into the Unity at runtime. Uh, but before that, I want to tell you uh, for connection the uh, Google Drive of your pro of your account to your project. I want to invite you to watch this video Google Drive and Unity upload and download photo because uh, at the beginning of this video uh, until these parts yeah until these parts I explained how to uh, connect your Google Drive account to your Google and uh, to your unity project after that you can learn how you can uh, download or upload your assets into your Google Drive for example in this video I explain how to upload and download a photo the next video down upload and download text and the, the uh, third one the fourth one is about uh, download OBJ 3d model and in this uh, video I want to talk how we can download DAE format of 3D model from Google Drive into the Unity. First, um, let's take a look at this 3D model. It is MIG15.DAE. Uh, I already uploaded it into my uh, personal Google Drive and uh, you need to assure that whenever you uploaded your 3D model, uh, right click on this uh, 3d model and go to the share and click share and after that uh, you need to make sure general access anyone with the link can access to the 3d model and so, uh, by default it is restricted switch to the anyone with the link and after that copy the link of this 3d model and create a new tab and paste here okay let's keep it Let's come back to the Unity editor and here let's go to the Google Drive my test scene. At this scene uh, we have a simple uh, main camera and just a simple direction light and here it is a test uh, a script. In the test the script we can download a 3D model. Uh, first, you need to assure that you have a uh, using system collection generic and collections and Unity Google Drive. At that video, I uh, for, uh, I said at the beginning of this video, you will learn uh, how to connect your Google Drive and how you can use this library and using that UI and IO and text. Here we have variable of uh, an array of bytes downloaded content and in here we will say after we press button in key D of the keyboard let's call this function DAE files download and this and I enumerator we will say okay let's create a request for Google Drive but what is the request please download a file uh, in the download file, we should have a, a file ID. In Google Drive, every object, every uh, assets, it doesn't matter, text, image, photo, video, 3D model, zip, any uh, file into your Google Drive already has uh, a you know, file ID. But how you can uh, have access to that file ID? As far as I mentioned, uh, by clicking share and share and copy the link, here you will see the last slash here. Look at this and the previous one, this guy and this guy. You will see this weird code. This is the file ID. This is unique. It's not similar to any file ID in your Google Drive or anywhere else. It is unique code for this file. You just need to copy these parts and go to your script here inside the download parentheses, paste here as a string. 
okay and here uh, it sends your request to the Google Drive download mechanism and here if you receive false for this message it means the download has been successful and in here you will see the content of array it doesn't matter and what matter is uh, inside this array of bytes downloaded content we will equal the request dot response data dot content in fact this is the that file we already downloaded as an array of bytes and in here we will say okay encode this uh, array of bytes as a text and just uh, create an address for our object look at this uh, the address and the name is application.datapath it can be anywhere application the persistent data path or any address you want but what matter is this slash and, and your file name it can be a dynamic a string to be able to uh, add any name you want but what matter is dot dae it is important with this format not capital letters with this format here we will check if we already have an object in our project with in this address actually with this name let's delete it for example if we already have a, um, a file in our project in this address which called test.dae if we have it it will delete it and after that it will create an, a, a new file at this address and this name with this content with this uh, array of bytes and we will see the 3d model okay let's save and let's come back to the unity editor here I press save and let's go play the scene excellent now I want to hit the key of D of my keyboard look at this the first message is false as far as I mentioned here if is error of the request is false it means the download has been successful and here if you take a look at this and uh, please ignore these errors if these are related to my project of unity sorry and look at this we have a 3d model of make 15 by the format dot dae and i can even drag and drop my 3d model here Look at this. I downloaded this DAE 3D model from my Google Drive. And the good point is, it's already saved in my projects folder. And if I stop the scene, this guy is still here. And no need to download this 3D model again. It is permanently saved in my storage at that address. I define it in this part text saver okay I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you don't hesitate to ask any question related to unity AR VR and XR so subscribe my channel and like this video if you like it have a great time bye bye